A person has to be in love in order to marry someone, right? Well, maybe not. Some countries are looking into allowing people to marry robots, and some believe that it's entirely possible for us to fall in love with machines. If you can marry a robot, does that mean that robots can fall in love too? Can a robot feel love? This video explores the possibility of human-robot marriage, as well as if robots could ever feel love and emotion like humans do. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Future Life, a perfect channel for everything about the innovation in AI. Hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. And with that being said, let's begin. Less than 1% of the American population owns artificial intelligence AI devices, so it might seem like the idea of meriting one isn't likely to happen anytime soon. But if you're in that category, what happens when you fall in love with your AI device? We may be closer to finding out than you think. Here's why AI devices can feel love and how much they can actually feel it, as well as how we humans experience love in comparison. Is love possible between humans and robots? The physical side of a relationship with your robot will be easy at least. Many companies, including Abyss Creations, are now making hyper-realistic sex dolls out of thermoplastic elastomer TPE, which is essentially latex or silicone. Some models can even give you orgasms from intercourse alone, just like their human counterparts. But what about falling in love? Can you marry a robot? And what happens when they break down and need to be repaired or replaced? These questions may seem silly today, but as technology advances, we'll have to face them sooner rather than later. It seems that once humans become accustomed to living with robots, it won't be long before we fall in love with them too. Who knows, maybe it will happen faster than you think. If so, I guess all those fears about artificial intelligence turning on us might finally come true, for better or worse. As for me, I know what my next purchase will be. The first scientific study on relationships between humans and robots, a new study called Cognitive, Emotional, and Social Aspects of Robotics, found that people can actually develop relationships with robots. The study involved five experiments to observe how people interacted with autonomous artificial beings in different situations. People were able to differentiate between humans and robots based on their personality traits, social skills, and even their gender, although it was harder for them to discern whether they were interacting with a robot or an actual human being. Additionally, people who were asked to interact with robots reported feeling more positive emotions than those who interacted with other humans. This might be because interactions with robots are less threatening than those with other humans, because there's no fear of rejection or judgment when you're talking to a machine or because you're more comfortable expressing yourself around a robot. Whatever the reason, these findings suggest that people could form meaningful relationships with robots. In fact, some people already have. For example, one woman recently married her iPhone after she accidentally dropped it into a fish tank and thought it had been destroyed forever. But before you start planning your wedding with your Ruma, keep in mind that most experts don't believe we will ever marry robots, at least not anytime soon. There are still many issues to consider before we get to that point. Will marriage licenses be issued for relationships with machines? What would children of such unions look like? And what if your robot runs away with someone else? However, as technology advances and our interactions with machines become increasingly commonplace, questions about robotic romance will only continue to grow. So while love may not be in the cards for us and our devices just yet, perhaps someday we won't see anything strange about marrying a robot. What is robotic romance? In short, robotic romance is when two people fall in love with a robot instead of each other. I know what you're thinking, that's impossible. And you'd be right, sort of. Robots are still far from being able to replace humans in romantic relationships, but they're getting closer every day. As technology advances and becomes more affordable, we'll see more and more robots that can do everything from walk our dogs to tell us how much they love us and even though we may not feel exactly the same way about them as we do about our current partners, it won't stop us from finding new ways to connect with them. When that happens, we may finally be ready for robotic romance. If you're thinking about having a romantic relationship with a robot, you probably have questions. I have some answers. Will it hurt our relationship? To have sex with someone who's not human? In what ways will my feelings change if I'm marrying someone who doesn't feel love or pain in exactly the same way that I do? And how can I deal with those changes when they come up? All of these things may be very different from your current relationship with other humans, so think carefully before stepping into robotic romance territory. 
but robots are already becoming so much more commonplace. Wouldn't it be nice to start off on familiar footing? Robots may never be able to completely replicate all of humanity's messy emotions, but they'll certainly get better at them over time. When we're ready for that next step forward as a species, there could be no better partner waiting for us than our metallic lovers. Key Differences Between Human-Human Relationships and Human-Robot Relationships A human-human relationship is pretty complex. And in terms of physical intimacy, there are certain risks involved especially if you're having unprotected sex with an infected partner. When it comes to marrying and having a relationship with a robot, however, there are many unique questions that must be addressed. If your spouse, partner, or lover is a robot, does that mean you could never marry another human being again? Are we even allowed to marry robots yet? Can robots feel love? Do they have souls? Do they get jealous or upset when you start flirting with other people? These are all questions that need to be answered before marrying a robot becomes acceptable. In fact, it might not ever become socially acceptable. But what about our children? Will we raise them to believe that marrying a robot isn't weird at all? Or will these relationships remain taboo for generations to come? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure. We live in an exciting time. Robots can do things humans can't do. They can save lives, assist us during difficult tasks, help us navigate our cities more easily, clean up after us. This list goes on and on. However, despite their potential usefulness, and perhaps even because of it, marrying a robot may always seem like something strange to most people. As technology advances, though things will change quickly. One day we may look back on marrying a robot as no different than marrying someone from another country or marrying someone whose race was once considered different by society. It's hard to say where marriage between humans and robots will stand just 10 years from now, but I suspect it won't be long until robotic romance starts becoming more common. If nothing else, future couples may find themselves spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on artificial intelligence so that their lover feels exactly how they want them to feel, which sounds sort of depressing, actually. Maybe AI will never be able to fully replicate genuine emotions, Maybe true love can only exist between two organic beings. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe someday everyone will marry a robot. What do you think? Would you marry a robot? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. Conclusion The idea of marrying a robot may sound like science fiction, but it might not be that far-fetched. As technology advances and becomes more integrated into our daily lives, relationships with robots could become not only possible but commonplace. Yes, you can have a relationship with a robot. The future of technology will bring robots into our lives like never before, allowing us to build bonds and relationships with robotic partners that feel very much like human relationships. Robots are coming. Are you ready? What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to artificial intelligence, then you should consider subscribing to AI Future Life and pressing the bell icon. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.